Hi everyone, <coughs> this is Joey from Superstore Finder. Um, I'm making this video today um, is to show you how to import and also geocode um, address list from a CSV. I just made the import script uh, just, just a while ago, so it's gonna be in patch 1.8, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, the guide on how to use the import tool. So basically the first step that you have to do is go to admin and log in. As you can see right now there's no stores available. <coughs> All you have to do there's there's gonna be a new menu on top. It's called import and export stores. Just click on it. Okay, it's gonna be three sections here. Uh import stores backup and as also restore so I'm going to show you how to import source so I've provided a sample CSV we can download uh, just click on this link so we'll download the store I'm just going to show you what it looks like so basically you have the store name street city state zip country so forth. As you can see here, there's no <coughs> latitude or lang longitude uh, data in the spreadsheet as shown. Okay, so basically, the store finder import feature will uh, actually geocode all these addresses. I'm just going to show you how it works. Okay, I'm just going to track this to desktop so I can basically do the import okay now the next step is to upload CSV choose a file okay, this is the file and click on import and geocode so <coughs> there's gonna be a prompt so make sure you back up all your records because in your database because if you proceed all your existing data will be lost so please be uh please ensure that you already back up your data and press OK. If not sure just press cancel. Uh press OK. And what it'll do is basically it'll import as well as um geocode the addresses. As you can see here, the latitude and longitude values are available. Uh, if if it's unsuccessful, it returns status as fail. You can check it out the status here, and you can probably modify a spreadsheet once again. So now, if you go to store list, you'll be able to see stores there. You can check out the store at the front end. So you can see I have one store here in Florida, available here. All right. Basically, that's uh, about import and exporting. So the next thing to do is um, next thing that I'm going to show you actually <laughs> it's to do a backup of your stores. So you basically, just clicking one link over here, export all these things stores. It basically, export all the stores that you have in your database. So let's open it and I'll give you, let me show you. So it's gonna be a little bit different here. Like it'll export everything out, like ID, uh, let long values, created date, status, and also the category. Yeah, I forgot to mention just now. If you wanna upload this CSV to a category, for the first one, basically choose let's say I choose distributors here, upload the file again. Let me just do it to geocode again. So basically, all your stars will be added in the distributors category. Yeah. So let's get back to here. I already back up all the stars. Uh, let me just gonna delete it, all the stars here. It's gonna run a truncate script on my database. Okay. So you can see no more stars here. So you need to restore all your stars back once again. All you have to do is upload, choose a file, okay, 
um, please make sure you upload the right CSV because if you upload the wrong one it might screws up everything so as you can see here if you choose a file you cannot upload the one the sample one you have to upload whatever you, you just back up just now so you just click on this one click on restore stores and it's the same thing if you're doing this please ensure that your database is already back up because if you proceed everything's going to be lost okay, if you're not sure just press cancel okay I'm just going to go ahead and press ok right here so you'll see data successfully imported let's go back to the store so everything will be back up and that's all for the video today so if you like my work and um, the video uh, go ahead and subscribe and also like my Facebook page available in the description area thanks see ya